If ignorance of the law is no excuse, how come Smith David gets off by pleading ignorance of first-year property law? The traditional answer is summarized in the model penal code. Ignorance or mistake as to a matter of fact or law is a defense if the ignorance or mistake negatives the purpose, knowledge, belief, recklessness, or negligence required to establish a material element of the offense. Ignorance or mistake is always relevant if it tends to negate a required showing of culpability. And it does not matter whether the mistake is one of fact or of law. To repeat, mistake of fact or law is always relevant if it tends to negate culpability. The question is, what elements the culpability requirement attaches to? The model penal code position is that it attaches to each material element, but neither knowledge nor recklessness nor negligence as to whether conduct constitutes an offense or as to the existence, meaning, or application of the law determining the elements of an offense is itself an element of such offense unless the definition of the offense so provides. Let's try to visualize this. Unless provided otherwise in a statute, culpability has to be shown as to conduct, result, and attendant circumstances. Culpability, however, does not have to be shown as to the illegality of the conduct, the existence of the statute under which the accused is charged, nor its meaning, nor its applicability to the defendant's conduct. These are not material elements of the offense. A comment explains what is going on in cases like Regina v. Smith David. At common law, where mistake negatives culpability, the law involved is not the law defining the offense, it is some other legal rule that characterizes the attendant circumstances that are material to the offense. The other legal rule involved in Smith-David was the property rule about fixtures to rental property. The fact that the baseboards were property of another was an attendant circumstance. Culpability had to be shown as to that element, and the accused's ignorance of the fact that the baseboards were no longer his negated his culpability.